Hello to all my wonderful Pisces folks, sun, moon, rising, or you know what? If you felt like watching this video, watch it. <laughs> um, we're going to be looking into three areas of your life over the next moon cycle, which begins on February 11th at 20, with a new moon at 23, 23 degrees Aquarius, 17 minutes. We'll have a full moon during this cycle on February 27th, and that will be at 8 degrees of Virgo, 57 minutes. And then this cycle will culminate and we'll begin a new cycle on March 13th with the next new moon, which will be at 23 degrees of your sign, Pisces, for four minutes. So um, if you have anything close to these degrees in your chart, this is going to be a, an especially prominent moon cycle for you. And now I will say especially because uh, we have 23 degrees and 23 degrees at the beginning and the end of this cycle. If there's anything in your chart that is at that degree, even if it's in another sign than Aquarius or Pisces, then you might want to look at your chart and take special notice of that, especially if it's a personal planet or an angle or your nodal axis at 23 degrees or close to it, even 20, 22, 24, etc. So anyways, just a heads up on the upcoming moon cycle. Now we're going to be looking at all three areas. If you want to watch all three, you are perfectly um, capable of doing that. And if, you, if you're just interested in a particular area or areas, use the timestamps below and just allow this reading to work for you. But I'm going to start out with the career and money aspect of your life. So I'm going to go ahead and get on into that. If you want to jump ahead, go ahead and do so. All right, Pisces. So we have, I, I have a feeling here that it's going to be a month of change for you, but it will be a liberating sort of change. And I know sometimes change can be scary, even if it's positive change. But I feel like there's going to be a lot happening in your work life and or uh, in relation to your money, things changing with your money. And sometimes it may not feel like wonderful change. The five of coins <clears throat> does indicate, excuse me, the Five of Coins does indicate some sort of conflict in particular, perhaps, around your money. Um, but it's actually a positive change because we have the Eight of Wands here. So if you feel like maybe there's some sort of unexpected expense that comes up over the coming month, um, don't let it get you down too much because it's actually a positive thing. So, for example, like if you have some sort of unexpected expense with your car... You're like, God, I don't feel like I have enough money to take care of this or this was unexpected. It's actually going to be a positive because whatever you fix on your car will prevent something that could be even worse down the road or something like that. That's just an example. But what I'm trying to make you understand is that even something that feels difficult, it's actually leading you to a better opportunity. Or what if you have to be without a car for a while? You know, it could be that your spirit needs to be freed from the confines of that car. And again, this the car thing is just an example, but there's some sort of change in your life that will be liberating. You know, so if you have to take the bus more often or if you have to walk more, this could be something that your spirit is just really calling out for. Your soul, your spirit wants to be so free this month. And it will be. And the changes that are happening this month, some of them will feel a bit overwhelming to you, and some of them, in some cases, it will be easier to see that these changes are actually freeing you from certain restrictions that were uh, overly limiting you. But really, whether it feels difficult or not, all of these changes are actually serving your highest good. We also have this, heart that, this card that says, open your heart to love. The more you open your heart and pour your love into your creations, the greater their life force energy. So some of the change that you're experiencing this month is leading you towards allowing your heart to be more free to fully express itself. Everything that's happening in your career and money sector this month is all about freeing you up to feel a greater love and personal fulfillment in whatever it is doing and whatever it is that you do for work. If you're unemployed, then you could have a, a significant shift either that leads you to employment or maybe you are finding a way to become your own boss and start your own business. But whatever it is, it's positive. There are positive changes that may, in some moments, 
feel like quote unquote negative or difficult changes. All right, let's see if there's any advice for you from my little fortune jar. Okay, this is a great one. Act as if it were impossible to fail. So that's going to be a mindset. Keep yourself positive this month. It's going to feel in certain moments that you're, you are failing or that you're about to fail. Act as if that's impossible because honestly it is. Anything that happens this month ultimately is serving your greater interests. Um, and the learn Chinese word on the back is husband. So I, I kind of feel like going along, whether you're married or not, going along with that, be willing to, I feel like the message that I'm getting from this, and it may not even be about a romantic partner, but be willing to accept support from someone else. I feel like there's someone in your life who is more than willing to be that rock for you, that rock of support, someone you can go to and rely on, someone who's very dependable and uh, whoever that is, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a family member, maybe it is a spouse or your, um, you know, romantic partner. But try to see who that is because there's someone who really does want to help you through these changes this month. And just also rely on your own understanding of ultimately there are no failures this month. Everything that happens is meant to happen and it, it is bringing me to this greater liberation <laughs> And it's a beautiful liberation. You're going to be unchained. And that is so beautiful. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the romance portion now. Of course, if you don't want to watch that, you can skip ahead using the timestamps below to the general spiritual portion. All right, Pisces. This is your love life for the month. And um, we again have the Eight of Wands. And this is representing you. This is the Knight of Wands is representing um, a romantic interest. Uh, I feel with you guys, this is probably someone that you're, it, it isn't a new person. I feel like it's someone either you're involved with or you've got some sort of situationship or something going on with. Because it feels like there's a stalemate. We have the King of Swords here between the two of you and it's almost like, I feel like both of you have a lot to say. I feel like you in particular want to communicate with this person, but you might feel this month that they're sort of blocking you out and they're not allowing you to communicate what you need to. I think this person, um, they have some things to say as well, but they, they don't want to say it to you. They might be trying to talk about it to other people or they just want their freedom more so this month. Um, I don't feel that it's necessarily that this person doesn't care about you it just feels like there's a very very much a stalemate happening this month and I think that there are a lot of other areas of your life this month that are impacting your romantic life that not, are not even directly connected but with this worried card and then healing family issues reversed um, if you have a child then I feel like there might be something going on with your child and you need um like you might have to have a strong focus towards your child or children this month or some other family member might be needing you to do some caretaking. And, um, you know, that I think that in and of itself is stressful and it could be causing greater stress here in the romance portion of your life. But the thing is, you have, and this, this came up in the work part of your uh, reading as well, the career portion. So if you didn't watch that, like spirit really wants you to understand, you have friends and or family, or there's someone, not your romantic partner, but there's someone who can be that support system for you. And they're very glad. If you need to talk about this, feel free to talk to this person, friend or family member, you know, cause you, you need to be able to rely on someone, right? And you can't just rely on your romantic partner or whoever this romantic interest is, especially if things are not going well with them. And you, and they're the issue that you need to talk about. So be willing to get support, uh, receive support from other people. Your song oracle is Fuji's Killing Me Softly. And I really feel, you know, obviously this is a romantic song, but I think in this case, this is pointing you to the fact that there's somebody who... Like I said, I feel like it's a friend or family member who really understands you. 
they understand this pain. This is someone who's very em empathic and they're going to understand. They're going to help you to feel better simply by allowing you to be understood. So allow yourself to lean a little bit on this person. All right. Because your romantic uh, partner or romantic interest, they're kind of blocking you off and it feels like they're wanting to do their own thing. And you know what? There's really nothing you can do to control that. You know, they're a separate entity. And if that's what they're choosing, obviously, I think it's probably hurting you. But you need to be able to find someone else to sort of rely on to help get you through this. All right. And now we have this card I'm uh, seeing as your advice. And it says giving. I welcome the idea of give and take in my relationships. And I eagerly practice the give part. By giving freely, I discovered just how fun giving really is. Giving my time, care, and attention to someone else actually gives me good feelings, which makes me want to give even more. Wait a second. Does this selflessness make me look selfish? Be honest. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, practice good give and take. Like I said, allow someone to support you and also enjoy the process of showing up for uh, someone else who's not your relationship partner. You know, sometimes we can get into the habit of focusing way too much on our rom romantic partner to meet all of our emotional needs. And obviously it's not always going to work, especially if you're having conflict or you're having a stalemate with that person. So maybe just focus much more on friends and family this month and the, the beautiful, healthy interdependence that you have with friends and family. That beautiful give and take. Um, right? Do something nice for someone and show them that you appreciate that they're always there for you. Allow them to be there for you, right? It's give and take. And I feel that you are going to be naturally giving a lot this month because you do, I feel like you are worried about, you know, perhaps a child or some other family member who needs your help. You know, so again, you need to find support. You need to find support and, and you will be understood. Your need for support will absolutely be understood. So don't be afraid to ask for it and to seek it out. All right. So I hope that that makes sense, Pisces. Hang in there. Remember, all of the changes. There, will, This is going to be a month of a lot of changes for you. Remember, ultimately, these are serving your best interests, although it may be difficult in certain moments to see that. All right. Try to keep your head up and allow yourself to be supported. Let's go ahead and move on now into the general and spiritual portion of the reading. All right, Pis Pisces, let's look at your general and spiritual energy for the month. Again, this feels like it's going to be a difficult month for you. Um, we have ashamed, so I feel like there's this sense of guilt or shame, like a very negative energy. I think that there are lots of demons this month that are being triggered, perhaps from childhood issues of shame and trauma. It's just a difficult month. And um, with this High Priestess card in this uh, sixth chakra, third eye chakra, it says Acknowledge Spirit. On this card, she's holding a book and it says Re Recently Deceased. What does it say? Man handbook for the Recently Deceased. I feel like you have some sort of family member because we have the Ten of Cups, which is all about family as well. There's some family member from the other side who's very present with you this month. And, um, you know, if you're someone who believes in that type of thing, then just know you, your ancestors and departed family members who made you feel very loved when they were very alive. Maybe you have a family member who was very loving to you, but that one has crossed over. Um, just know that that family member or family members are with you now and they're really doing their best to help you with this struggle. Um, you know, if you need to, we've talked a lot in your reading in all of the different sectors about being willing to rely on someone who understands you. I feel like, you know, real life people who are still alive, yes. But also, this is just a reminder that even from the spiritual realm, there is so much love around you right now. Because I think that your departed loved ones as well are just very aware that you're having a tough time this month. 
So please don't feel ashamed. You know, look beyond what's happening. Don't allow yourself to be so hard on yourself. You know, that's not helping any of this to be, you know, it's, it's not helping you to get through any of this. And you don't deserve that. You've never deserved to be made to feel this way. And if, if someone else did this to you, either in childhood and or adulthood, you didn't deserve that. You did not deserve that. You were an innocent child, you know, and I feel that you're a very loving person. I feel like you're a very loving, empathic person, and perhaps you sometimes give too much of yourself. This is a month when you, you kind of need to practice receiving more and trust that you're worthy of that. Okay. All right. Now this card, it says, um, acknowledge spirit. I trust in a higher source and I acknowledge my direct connection with it. In the stillness, I listen for the wisdom inside and I am open to the spirituality that is within and all around me. I know that love is the creative force. I meditate and welcome mystical truths. I am open to seeking guidance in my spiritual quest from a spiritual teacher, master, or guru. Right, and I think for you guys, it's like turning to spirit in your darkest hour. Um, trusting that your loved ones are around you energetically. Maybe you'll even feel them with the High Priestess card. I think that you are going to be, and also this Third Eye Chakra card showing up. You're definitely going to be strong in your psychic abilities this month. But sometimes when we're feeling guilt and shame and fear and these lower vibrational emotions are taking over, it can be hard for us to, to accept the positive messages that are coming through from our intuition. So if you think that there's some sort of, you know, psychic insight that is coming through and that is making you feel fearful or ashamed, then just don't listen to that. But Because I feel like... The message from spirit this month, from your departed loved ones, your spirit guides, your angels, it's all love. <laughs> your soul family is with you, both the ones who are incarnate with you right now and the ones who are, who are in the astral realms. There's so much love and support around you. And I know I can tell from this whole reading, all three sections of the reading, that it's going to be really difficult for you, Pisces, to really believe that. But I really want you to have this faith that your soul family loves you so much and they, they only want good things for you. They only want love for you and they're sending you so much love. So I hope that you feel that. You know, be willing to reach out for support in any way, shape, or form. You know, you deserve it. There's nothing to be ashamed of for needing support either. Maybe that's what it is for some of you, is that you feel ashamed just for the fact that you're going through a rough time. Well, that's what life is, you know. Sometimes life is just extra rough. And yeah, it doesn't feel fair, but there's certainly nothing to feel ashamed about for the fact that you're experiencing life and life happens to be difficult. So be gentle with yourself, okay? And <laughs> and I've pulled out this portion. It's the same message as the beginning. If you watch the career portion, Act as if it were impossible to fail. I know it's going to be hard to stay in that optimistic mindset this month. But, but that message has come out for you twice. So uh, you're not going to fail. There's no failure. Do not perceive yourself to be a failure. There's absolutely no reason to have any sort of sense of shame uh, this month or ever. You're a beautiful, wonderful, loving soul. And you're so incredibly loved as well. So please believe that, Pisces. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sending lots and love and light your way. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.